that's that's why we uh, you know that's a different in uh, data warehouse and transactional system in transactional system we have every transaction but in warehouse we have aggregate data so we have stored the data in aggregate format say uh, for a sales for a sales representative if I want to see what are the sales figure for one particular representative so I have to select one single uh, table or one single column if I store the data in aggregated format if it's a uh, non aggregated format then say uh, in this case I'll get the uh, 12, ro 12 rows if it's a monthly data so I'll, I'll get the 12 rows I'll zone the different table then I'll get the desired output but in warehouse if I store it in aggregated format I just have to select one column select sales where sales representative is equal to this so that's why we uh, store the aggregated data So see, I have this private data, then use the aggregator operator. In aggregator operator, I want these columns. I don't need uh, this quarter column because I want aggregated data. Okay, now this is my input and my output and output I have to create columns sales rep ID sales rep name and sales ok now I have to define the expression on what conditions the data will be aggregated now say sales representative ID so in this case I don't want to aggregate sales representative ID it will be same so no function applied on this attribute is sales representative ID and use the above values so I'll simply use sales representative ID for this for sales, sales representative name name will be same just use the same name no function is required for the name as well now next column is sales for sales I need aggregate function sum because I want to sum the, all the uh, sales for all quarters so attribute is sales and use the expression expression is sum of sales okay okay now get one column I want to load this in uh, aggregate sales table Okay, let's save this. Change the deploy the mapping
Okay, maybe it's deployed. No. Okay, we got some error. Invalid character. Data type error, right? Yes, I guess. Maybe lamp. Input attributes we have ID, name, and sales. Here I have. This should be correct. Rent is fine, ID is fine. Okay. This seems to be fine. Okay, here this table. This is where <laughs> care. Jitendra? Yeah. Jee, hello? Yeah. Can you hold for one minute? Yeah, one sure. minute only. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yep. It's ready. I got the point actually. Uh, but just show me what exactly the properties uh, aggregator, like what some, what else. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you that. We were getting the data type error. Uh, the name data type was uh, numeric. Okay. So aggregator, uh, we have added uh, this operator. Now, if I double click on this, I'll get the uh, input attribute and output attribute. Input attributes are fine. Now go to output attributes. We have to add output attributes here. Let's say. Uh, but what if we we just don't put the first two columns and put the third one only and get the first two. Directly from that, will the that will also work. We'll get the uh, say you are uh, you are saying uh, if we just put the sales column. Yes. 
not the other two. That will also work. We can aggregate that, but general, uh, generally we don't do that because if we are doing aggregating, we, we are getting the sales data. So against which uh, sales representative this data is that we need to know, right? What you okay. are saying is that we can do what what you are saying. We can just aggregate the sales, but there is no uh, logical meaning of that. You just okay. store the sales data in a table. You need to uh, store the other attributes. Yes, 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 yes. So it's not like an expression, expression. No. Because in expression, we just you know get the one column and the rest to or rest other columns directly from it. Yeah. Oh yeah, expression. We are getting the target column, a new one. Okay. And here we have already in the so. so. Here actually, uh, why we give is uh, based on which column you want to aggregate. Got it, got it. Okay, so I define the uh, expression here. For this, it is correct. I need the ID. For this, I want the name. Sales representative name. On this, I want sales data. Yeah, just show me what other function it used. Like S T D deal. There are so many. So we can use sum. We can use average, count, group, grouping. We can do max. Mm -hmm. We can get median. We can get minimum. S T D deal. But most, mostly we use these three: sum, average, and count. Okay. Maximum we can use. In group by we can use the expression, right? So right. We can use. Okay. Now choose the table. This table we can go put here. I'm creating a new table. Operator. Let's deploy the table first. You got the, the point why why we got this error? Yes, yes. It's because it was already why? there. The table was already no, uh, there. No first time why we got? Uh, what was the first error? First error was uh, table view does not exist. 